What's going on, friends? We are on our way to pick up another car from the auction. Just left U-Haul uh, to get a trailer to put the car on there, take it back to the shop, and uh, you know, get ready to take it apart. We'll take a look at it. Um, the car is running, so we'll see. That's what they say. So you know how that is at the auction. Um, the car's a little bit beat up, but you know that's why you can get them cheap and then uh, try to make some money out of them. So we're on our way now. Uh, to get there, I had to pick up, like I said, a trailer. Uh, eventually, I'll get one, but you know, starting a new business uh, little by little. So, we're on our way. All right, we're here. I got a bunch of cars in there. There's a truck. The only thing I, the truck has the power for this. The only thing I don't like about these newer trucks, this is a 2012, is they don't have a leaf spring. A leaf spring's at least a lot stronger to hold the weight. You know, they have the coil spring, the shock, so. I think I'm gonna end up buying airbags, like an airbag kit, and that'll really help support, you know, towing cars. But let's go in and uh, let's get this car. They got some bikes here too. What do you guys think about building a bike on the channel? Let's see if we can fix it. It's a Yamaha, I don't know if it's 600 or, that one's total, that guy's done. Hopefully not, but. Eventually, I would love to get into the EV cars, you know, in the future. I mean, it's a lot of people are, I think there's a lot of people doing these now as parts, but I mean, uh, they're putting these in hot rods and, uh, you know, making old cars, you know, with electric motors. People are getting older and don't want to work on mechanical stuff anymore, but they still want to enjoy the car, you know, their hot rod, and they'd rather just, you know, throw a Tesla swap in it. But man, there's a bunch here. I think these are the model what are these Ys? I'm not really sure. But definitely have to get certified to take these batteries out and stuff, so it's no joke if you get hurt. Alright, there she is guys, another WRX coming over here. So we're gonna get it loaded and we're right. All right, another WRX ready to get stripped. So, bumper's a little falling off here. Oh, hold. It's got the scoop. That's money, the hood's good. Bumper seems good. Wheels, car does turn on. It's a turbo, just saying that, but got a wing. Oh, it got hit in the back. Got an amp. I got a strap for that. Another uh, full exhaust system, like always. Probably some na no, name brand. So, let's get it strapped up. All right, there it is. Now you can see what I was talking about this truck. In this truck, they took the bump stops off, so it doesn't even have any bump stops. But I did put new shocks. Might help it out a little bit. Um, yeah, we'll definitely need some air ride. But take this back, inspect it, and go from there. All right. Unless I'm not doing this jump box right, but the car did turn on. The battery's super dead. And the shifter's really loose. Let me uh, double check the jump box, or maybe I need to charge the battery. Uh, I don't know. We'll see. Oh, my finger was in the way. All right, we got power. Battery's super dead. Let's see. AC's complete on the radio looked like they tried to rip it out so it's on and she's going to reverse It's stuck somewhere, let me check. All right, I forgot there was a chain I put on the bottom of the car, so glad it did its job. The bumper's ripping off. Let me not let that happen. It's an okay bumper. Oh, what? Look at that, running WRX, it's a shame. Upgraded intercooler. She sounds great, nice and healthy.
So two door V8 and it's uh, uh, six speed, right? Six, six speed. Man. That's fun. This thing is sick. And an exhaust, right? Uh, headers back. Oh, no kidding. Oh, man. This thing's got to move. Oh, it's not that bad. Yeah, yeah. It's nice. It's a 2010. Oh, yeah, man. It looks great. All right, guys, that's it for today. Uh, engine's already out. It's over there. So if anybody's interested, OGHAutoparts.com or reach out to us, and that could be yours. So we'll come with the intercooler, ECU, full engine swap, put in your car. But, yeah, there she is. She's already stripped. Transmission's good. That's out. Uh, if anybody wants parts for this. And here's that Audi A4. What's left of her? Not much. Well, still the full interior. I guess a lot of people are not really interested in buying tear on these cars but this is really the issue with these cars so but anyway thanks for watching until the next one